our songs, our prayers are all about is water. We're trying to get the rains to come, the different forms of the water, the moisture, the clouds. So you can imagine in days past, a thousand years ago, as the people sought out where to live, of course, the first thing they sought out was, was sources of water. So when I go to an old ruin somewhere and visit it, that's one of my first questions and the first things I'm looking at, looking for, where was the water source? Pueblo people got their water mostly from the springs that are located in the canyons throughout the Mesa Verde region. They created a particular kind of pottery vessel that we call an olla. It's a Spanish word. Those are big jars that have a really a narrow opening with a long neck so that if you had water in it and you had to walk with that water from the spring back to your house it keeps the water inside the pot and not sloshing out all over the ground. They were looking at water as something very very precious. They knew how to build like rock check dams you know earth berms to try trap these waters. They tried to conserve water in every way imaginable. And one of the things we found is that they constructed reservoirs. And the way these reservoirs worked is that during, in the spring when the snow melt, or during the summers when we had a thunderstorm, those dams would pool that water uh, and conserve it. Those reservoirs probably didn't hold water throughout the year, but they were probably a really important supplement to the springs for Pueblo people during the year. Water, hope you say, is life. Water is life. And we have a word that says that it's called Patuakati. It's a water, land, life. That's what the word means.